So, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's really a great pleasure to be here and to give a short overview of our project. It can be only just be a, a quick glimpse into this project because, of course, this project has now taken place about more than 20, 25 or 26 months. Yeah, we are almost towards the end. Uh, and um, of course, there were many activities which were taking place. Uh, this project was funded by the European Union. You see here, it's out of the COSME program and uh, started in 21, in the beginning, in the middle of the pandemic crisis. And that gave us a hard time to start, I can say. But at the end, I think we made quite some good achievements. Um, but um, we, we, we actually, what we wanted to achieve with this project is that we wanted to support SMEs on their uh, transition pathway for uh, the sustainable tourism. Uh, and um, we have done that with different means. Um, we um, have today, this is the final conference, which we have fantastic speakers like Stefan, who just inspired us, what we all could do. But we also want to take this opportunity to celebrate uh, the achievements of our SMEs and of our partners. And therefore, I would like to take in a first, um, uh, as a first step to introduce the partners and also the SMEs to you. And I would like to start with uh, our partner from Bulgaria, which is Planicon, a business support organization, uh, with their SMEs. And I really would like that you make yourself noticed, that we can see you and that everyone can recognize you. So maybe you wave or you stand up. So where are the Bulgarian partners? <laughs> Welcome to Vienna. Then we have our partner from uh, Romania, which is the uh, tourism destination organization from Sibiu. Uh, maybe you can also make yourself noticed. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> then we have three partners from Italy. Uh, so these are two chambers of commerce, one from Bordenone Udine, which is also affiliated to ITER. Uh, can you please? Just make yourself noticed, yes. Uh, and, and the Chamber of Commerce uh, in Basilicata, which is in the south of, southern part of Italy. <laughs> then we have the Croatian Chamber of Commerce with their SMEs. Where are you? In the back. <laughs> Welcome. And we have our Austrian partner, which I want to very much thank you for this great organization of this conference, and which are also here. We saw already the certified businesses. So can, yourself, can you make yourself noticed again? Yeah, super. And then we have two partners from Germany. Uh, one is Ecotrans and one Eberswalde University who took the lead for the project coordination. Uh, and we had a very important um, 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 collaborator in this project, uh, which comes from the funding organization. And I really want to warmly welcome Mrs. Lucia Masarova from the uh, COSME program as a project <laughs> officer. And she supported us throughout this long journey, I have to say. <laughs> so thank you, Lucia, to be here with us today. Yeah, I want to give a short overview of our project. So what we wanted to do is we also wanted to develop a model to support the SMEs. Uh, it's actually quite similar from yours, a little bit different, and, um, uh, but it also puts a supportive environment for the SMEs in the center of this model. Uh, so uh, what we did is we had we created four pillars which we considered as very important to support the SMEs. The first one is to create a European wide knowledge in the innovation sharing community because we consider knowledge as very important because sustainability is a process of learning. It's a continuous learning process where we always try to improve and uh, to um, 
to actually achieve uh, this goal towards sustainability and sh such a sharing community, of course, uh, supports this um, um, a process of learning. Then uh, we also did, when I will talk a little bit later about the details of this knowledge sharing community, uh, we also built an online um, knowledge base with training material, with uh, knowledge um, um, models and, and uh, also uh, best practices. Then besides that, we also developed a support process for the SMEs, which really individually supported the SMEs in, on their journey towards this uh, sustainable transition. And, uh, it did not end with the support of this journey. We also wanted to ensure that the SMEs are visible and are promoted for their achievements. So um, what I did not say yet for us, very central in this project was that we wanted to guide uh, the, uh, the SMEs uh, through this sustainable uh, tourism journey or process with certification. So certification was the central means for us to empower the SMEs, to transfer knowledge to, uh, to the SMEs, and uh, to also implement sustainability into their daily operations. So we, we considered certification as a very central means. So after we have built this model, we wanted to test this with the 70 SMEs, which participated now for half a year. And it's really great that actually all of them achieved this certification with this short time frame, uh, which astonished us all that it is possible to have uh, you know, done such a process in half a year, uh, which normally takes much longer. And uh, we also created a community of practice because, as we said, peer learning, very important. And uh, we organized workshops and other events so that uh, businesses could learn from each other, not only from the peers in the same, on the same level, but also along the whole tourism value chain. So that was our model we followed. Uh, just talking a little bit about uh, this um, elements or pillars in more detail. Uh, the sharing community consists of five groups. One is, uh, and we consider them as the knowledge providers, it's the Triangle Knowledge Alliance, which is a network of universities which are leading uh, sustainable tourism uh, research and the teaching. Uh, and they actually have been involved to create knowledge for the network. So what they did first, and there were about 20 Triangle members involved to write a report on European uh, sustainable tourism policies. Uh, the Triangle members wrote the national chapters and that gave a really good overview of what happened in their respective countries. Uh, also, of course, they supported uh, the development of training materials. They provided overviews of trainings on the national level, and so they acted as the knowledge providers in our project. Then, and I consider them as very central, and that's what you in your model had as the sustainability manager. I think in our model, it's the business support uh, organizations and the destination management organizations, which we consider really as the central point to enable SMEs, which are, you know, mostly operating individually on an individual level. And uh, it's very hard for them to uh, go through such complex processes. And this business support organization, Chambers of Commerce, the Austrian Hotel Association, uh, destination management organization, they supported the SMEs actually to embark on the journey journey and then also guided them through the journey. Uh, other important uh, group in this um, knowledge sharing community were the expert coaches. Uh, so besides knowledge providers and enablers, we had the expert coaches which were there to support the SMEs on an individual basis and recommended ideas and really uh, um, coach them with this implementation process. And of course, other, the, the, the other businesses yeah, uh, were also very important. 
for implementing sustainability measures along the value chain, mobility providers, uh, um, agriculture, and so on. So these businesses are very important to partner with on this uh, sustainability journey. Uh, and also, of course, other businesses which are at the same stage and with the same facing the same problems um, and uh, serve as peers for learning. So that was our uh, knowledge community, uh, which provided uh, lots of knowledge, developed knowledge, but also transferred knowledge to the SMEs. Uh, going a little bit more in detail uh, to the online training knowledge base, this can be all found on our website. Uh, so if you want to have a deeper look, just visit it. We are still developing the website. It still will be filled until the end of the project, which is mid of the year. Um, uh, but one of the, uh, I should say, signature uh, outcome is the Sustainability Certification in Tourism course, which is a short course which gives SMEs an overview of the basics um, of, a, of, of sustainable certification. It references uh, to the 43 uh, GSDC criteria. And um, it, it really tells the SME what are the benefits, what are the hurdles to actually go through a, such a certification process. We also uh, did, with the support of uh, experts and, and the triangle members, uh, a good practice collection, which is a collection of certified tourism businesses in the European Union. They are featured with the practices they have, have implemented and they are really serving as a good source uh, for inspiration of what can be done by the SMEs. Um, yeah, and then one of the central elements was to really guide the SMEs through this uh, certification process, so the road to certification, and it started with an orientation phase, so I already have um, shown a few of our training uh, material which was developed. Um, so after having the basic knowledge about certification, uh, they did um, an online self-check, yeah, just to get an orientation about the status quo, where they are in, 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 in regard to sustainability, where could be potential strengths, potential weaknesses on their way to uh, sustainability certification. And for this, uh, we developed a self-check. It's not as fancy as the tool as you have just shown, but it's really a very simple self-check for SMEs to see uh, you know, how is the status of my sustainability performance, where do I have strengths, where weaknesses. And uh, following this, you actually have an orientation, what kind of certificate also you should go for. Uh, so this is a, um, an online uh, survey where you, uh, where, where you enter your performance in regard of the GSDC industry criteria. Um, so all SMEs have done that. Um, then again, a training phase um, have taken place, and then the question was, what is the uh, certificate I should select? Which is not a not an easy question, uh, because there are you know there are hundreds of certificates available. Not all are trustworthy, and it's really hard to find credible transparent uh, standards and certificates. So uh, what we did is for the six partner countries, we um, screened the certifi certificates available in the countries and we just took uh, credible uh, or um, uh, credible third party audited certificates and uh, communicated that to the SMEs and from this list they could actually um, choose then or select the certificate they applied for. Uh, so overall we had 21 recommended third party audited certificates in six partner countries. Um, yeah, so the certificate, certificate was selected, then uh, the, uh, uh, the um, SMEs had to go to this certification journey, and this was supported by the expert coaches, which, in, which actually helped and recommended, you know, uh, the SMEs what kind of uh, activities should be implemented. 
And uh, this was very helpful because uh, the SMEs did not have to walk alone, but could really uh, address their questions on a one-to-one -one basis to the coaches. Yeah, and why? Uh, and and uh, the coaches. They were so, because they were so uh, important for the SMEs on this way, um, we created an expert pool with coaches for our six partner countries, and they can be found on the website. Uh, they uh, will also be available after the project, which is actually our aim that it should go on uh, after the project ends, and they can support then interested SMEs. Yeah, and the whole process ended it with auditing and certification. And the great thing is that really uh, all SMEs have actually achieved uh, this goal of being certified in such a short time. Um, yeah, um, it did not end the project with the certification. Uh, we also wanted to provide an opportunity for them to be promoted and we partner here with, uh, one of our partners has developed this green travel maps where the certified businesses are all uh, integrated and visualized. Uh, so this is a good, uh, good way to be uh, visible, to be promoted. But these maps also list other stakeholders along the value chain. So it's also very important for the SMEs to actually find partners for the implementation of the sustainability um, activities. Yeah? So um, I, uh, this, this is a good way to stay connected and find the right partners. Yeah, and last but not least, we have developed a uh, implemented a community of practice because we really saw from the beginning that it was very important to learn from each other. Uh, so we also organized three national workshops, so they were done in each country uh, separately. Um, they were often also accompanied by the experts and their important issues uh, of sustainability, how to implement sustainability in the businesses were discussed. And today we have the Green Tourism Conference in Vienna, which is the highlight and the closing event. Uh, we also have, again, um, um, uh, integrated our uh, knowledge providers, our triangle network, and we will uh, for the first time organize a summer school in Eberswalde this time, but it should take place in annual, um, on an annual basis uh, at different uh, uh, locations from the Triangle Partners. And this is about sustainable uh, or European uh, sustainable tourism policies and strategies. So uh, I hope that will continue and go on. What we have learned in this project is really that uh, you have to create a supportive environment for the SMEs. So the SMEs are working very individually on their own and they do not find the time uh, on, in their daily businesses to deal with major sustainability transition or certifications. And you have to somehow motivate them and also get them engaged to make this first move, this first step into a certification process, which we still consider is a very good process uh, for empower, to bring knowledge and empowerment to the SMEs. And, um, and uh, I really want to highlight here also this, uh, this um, function, this business support organizations like UFV or the Chamber of Commerce have, and also destination management organizations uh, to coordinate these processes, to really transfer knowledge, to organize workshops, to create awareness. So they have a very, very important role in this whole model. And uh, I'm looking at you. <laughs> There's a lot uh, lots to do, I think, in the future, yeah, to really. Um, support the SMEs which need this support uh, and to create this supportive environment. So with this, I would like to close this short overview and I'm really looking forward to listen to the stories now of the uh, SMEs, uh, the businesses, what they have experienced, what hurdles came up. And uh, yeah, so with this, I close and thank you very much for the attention.
Thank you very much, Dagmar, for this overview.